Hi, I am Sartha Goswami. Now I am going to discuss the very important topic of database which is key concept in DBMS. Okay. First, I am taking an example of a table. Here the table name is student and the attributes are role, name, city and department which is written as DEPT. And we are assume some sample data just like there is rule number one and his name is Sarthak and city is Kolkata and department is MCA. Rule number two name is Abhishek, city is Simla, department is MCA. Rule number three name is again Abhishek but city is different, city is Delhi, department is MCA. For rule number four name is Vishal and city is Adi Satyagram and department is IT. We are assuming a specific condition that from one city the name will not be repeated which means if we take name and city both then there will be a unique tuple. Now we are discussing the key concept with some example. This is our sample table. First, what is super key? We have to take the definition of every key and fill that definition and then we will discuss with the example what are the possible number of that key. Okay? First super key. An example, an attribute or a set of attribute is called as super key if that set can uniquely identify a tuple or row in a relation. We know that every row is called as tuple in database and relation means table. So what is super key? If we can take any attribute or column or a set of attribute, if that uniquely identify a tuple, which means if we get the value of that then that will be unique just like for roll number if we take roll number 2 then there will be a unique row which uh, whose name is OVC and whose set is similar and whose department is MCA throughout the table so if we take any value on roll there will be a unique tuple which means the roll is uniquely identify any tuple of the relation so role will be the super key for our assumption and I have already told that our special assumption is from one city the name will not be repeated. So if you take the name and city compositely, so if we make a composite attribute name and city then that will be also a super key just like if I call Abhishek from Simna there will be only one row or only a unique row in that table okay but we can't think that name will not repeat it anybody can think that in a word database the name will not repeat but this is a very basic assuming that name will repeat okay now we have seen that alone role can uniquely identify a tuple. So we can also say role and name compositely uniquely identify a tuple. If I call role number uh, 4 Vishal then there will be one unique row and same role name and city uniquely identify a tuple and if we take department first and role last there will be a uniquely identified tuple. Just like if I call IT whose role is 4, there will be a unique row whose name is Vishal and whose city is Adi Saptagam for our assumption. So that will also super key. In this way, we can find multiple super keys. Okay? Now, I am going to discuss about candidate key. The minimal number of super key for which no proper subset is super key is called as candidate key which means a candidate key 
must be a super key which means we have to filter out the super key to find the candidate key with a specific condition a special proper subset theory so first of all we have to know that what is proper subset so i am taking an example of proper subset here the set is a and b compositely so the possible number of subsets are one subset is null and the subset is a and another subset is b and a and b compositely another subset of a and b so if we have to take the proper subset then we have to eliminate that set then we will get the proper subset okay so for our definition what is candidate key we have to take every proper subset of the super key and we have to judge that no proper subset will be super key just like for the first example role role has no proper subset because role has only subset role and that is that so if you take the proper subset there is nothing so there is only null so we can also uh, we can directly say that if there is only one attribute in super key that will be directly considered as candidate key so we are telling that role is candidate key next example is name and city is candidate key so what are the possible proper subset the possible proper subset are name and city neither name is super key nor city is super key so no no proper subset is super key so we can tell that this super key name and city compositely is considered as candidate key okay now for this example for role and name one proper subset role is already super key so we can't take role and name as candidate key similarly if you take this example here you can see that role is already super key and also name and city is already super key i have already told you that if any any proper subset is super key then that will be not considered as candidate key so we can consider this as candidate key if we take this example department and role here we can see that the role is already super key here role is proper subset so we can't take this so in one word we can say that from the set of super key we have to take the minimal minimal of super key but there is a misconception just like for department role if we take the minimal per department then it cannot be a candidate key because department itself is not a super key every candidate key should be a super key okay so here we can see that role and name and city compositely are considered as candidate key okay now what is primary key from the sets of candidate key the candidate key chosen by dba is primary key any of this two any of this two this and this can be considered as primary key here dba has chose role as primary key so what is alternate key now the candidate keys which are not selected as primary key is called as alternate key so here name and city is compositely considered as alternate key if there is five candidate key and dbs choose one as primary key then the remaining four will be considered as alternate key okay now i am discussing about secondary key a secondary key is made on a field that you would like to be indexed for first search a table can have more than one secondary key 
so in your table we can think that the table is search like i need department wise data or city wise data i'm assuming that i need department wise data so if i put the index on dpt then when it will search department wise data it will move faster so we can say that dpt is secondary key now what is foreign key the foreign key is defined in a second table but it refers to the primary key of first table just like here first table is department and there is department id department name and hod so i am going directly to the example here there is department id and department name and hod sample data is d01 department name nca hod abc and d02 department name it and hod is xyz now the second table is student where there is attribute role name city now we can see that the department number of every student is coming from dpt table and the, from the attribute department id so dpt eno refers the department id of dpt table so dpt eno is called as foreign key of student table here there is another concept of referential integrity we can't use any department number which is which not in department id so we have to put the data here first in department table and then we can uh, put the data here because dpt no is referring department id so we can see that the foreign key name and to which it is referring the name can be different because the data set must be same like this okay so so now i'm now i'm going to my example what is foreign key the foreign key is defined in second table like student table student table is my second table where foreign key is DPTNO and it refers to the primary key of first table and here department id is primary key of first table okay so assuming our sample data we can say that DPTNO is foreign key in student table now there is a point that we have only one table then is there any possibility to declare a foreign key we have only one table the answer is yes we can do that we can do that then the foreign key will called as self-referencing foreign key the self-referencing foreign key is defined in a table and it refers to the primary key of that table if we take the example then we can see that here GMP is a table and the primary key is GMP ID just like this is a unique and there are enum okay then there is manager ID which is MGR ID this MGR ID the value of MGR ID is coming from the GMP ID and it is situated in this table so mgr id refers gmp id of own table so here we can say that mgr id is self referencing foreign key of gmp table as it refers the primary key of that table we have to concentrate on that point that every time any foreign key that is simple foreign key or self-referencing foreign key will refer to the primary key for the case of foreign key 
that will refer the primary key of other table and for the case of self referencing foreign key that will refer the own table okay so now we know the concept of self referencing foreign key thank you for watching my video if you like my video then please go to youtube and search my channel sarthak.goswami.here and subscribe the channel and like my video on youtube and other details will be put on youtube on that channel and you can also comment on the video if you need any other thing or if you need any clarification you can comment on there i will be reply when i will get time okay thank you for watching my video thanks